Um, what I'd like to do is just take five minutes and just briefly go over the things that um, have come up today, the very interesting talks that we've had, the interesting discussions that we've had, and just give a bit of an overview uh, to see if we can integrate everything. Uh, which seems like quite the test, but I, I promise you I'll not spend more than a couple of minutes. Um, some basic questions that came up is, um, should we have deregulation for faster progress, or should we have more regulation to decrease risks, even existential risks? Should we make allies with rich, powerful people, especially if they're against reason or anti-scientific reasoning? And DJ even said we need more tests on animals, which might not be a very popular standpoint, but of course, uh, I guess we can all see the, the merits of that. Um, where is the line between enhancement and healing? Um, the common thread between these seems to be the capacity for self-determination, overship over your body and over your mind. And to do this in a responsible way, so one that takes into account the network effects of this, um, how your choices affect society and those around you. Narrative is a key word that came up many times during the presentations today. What is your story as a community um, as people representing different parts of this community, whole brain emulation, longevity, and so on. A story can be also a video game, a movie, a documentary. Um, should, we, should we write stories to drive home the point that the future can be bright? This, this had been literally suggested by some of the speakers. Should we write stories to dispel common misconceptions? So this is a little bit, should we paint a bright picture or should we dispel the dark picture? And then once we've written those stories, how do we get them to the people and overcome things like language barriers? Um, Under said, we're pretty bad at making predictions, so how can we make these narratives if we're not so capable of making accurate predictions about the future? Um, the stories can maybe just be um, hypotheticals, of course. We don't have to make scientific predictions. Um, we need to not just decrease existential risk, but also to increase existential hope. So this is a bit, do we argue for the bright? argue against the dark. And related is um, empowerment of the individual through health literacy and education. Um, one of the points that came up also was potential links between the transgender community, because I think it was James who said that he saw the transgender community as more or less on the forefront of the transhumanists, because they are also very much about taking ownership of their bodies and using technological interventions to achieve their, um, their self-identities. Um, coming to the mind and the brain, what are the pitfalls when technologies like whole brain emulation and uh, brain-computer interfaces are here? But also, what are pitfalls on the way there? Think, for example, of suffering of virtual simulated animals. Once we have a perfectly accurate mouse in, simulated in the computer, by definition, it would have the same capacity for suffering as the real biological lab animal. So we should be concerned uh, for the suffering of the virtual animal as well. Uh, things we could do at this point is we could already start contributing to the development of these neuro rights uh, think tanks and foundations and defining some success criteria for um, these kinds of experiments. And in general, what could transhumanists do to enhance the acceptance? So this again, a bit uh, outreach and education and storytelling, of course. Um, what are fruitful avenues for longevity boosting interventions? Fascinating uh, talks in the last session. Again, what should the transhumanist community do to enhance the acceptance thereof? And again, it seems to come down to this narrative. Um, so we don't need to fight the existing social constructs of aging with dignity, that's fine. We don't need to fight with these intricate intracellular pathways, but instead we use this engineering approach as David laid out. Learn from nature. Um, this also, again, fits into the narrative. So if people realize that this is natural, quote unquote, and this is actually a very common thing in nature, negligible senescence and rejuvenation, it will probably also uh, vastly increase the acceptance of, um, of those phenomena. And of course, we can use modern AI tools to engineer um, new approaches for longevity. Um, as a final point, or final two points, I think this is a general discussion topic. Uh, should we slow down process in emergent fields like AI, 
um, as um, um, somewhat recently, um, the there was an open letter published saying that we should we should literally slow down research in AI. Future of Life Institute. Thank you very much. Or should we do the inverse, um, boosting progress in a way that bolsters an ethical use of these technologies, kind of crowding out or pushing out the potential unethical use of those technologies? <laughs> And then finally, maybe analogous to the Wright brothers, um, do we need some big project on the horizon, some moonshot project for longevity, for AI, for whole brain emulation, and so on, um, again, to make um, this narrative. Um, I will conclude there. Um, it's been a real pleasure today. We've had some fantastic talks. We've had some fantastic discussions. It's been a real pleasure having you all here. I do hope you come back tomorrow. We have many more interesting talks and many more interesting discussions. Um, in the afternoon tomorrow, we will dedicate um, several hours for in-depth discussions. All of the points that were raised here will go into those discussions. So I'm sure there are, there are many more uh, thoughts and, and responses that people uh, have that they would like to, uh, to, to bring on the table. Tomorrow is your chance. Um, join us uh, in the morning for a series of lectures about AI. And in the afternoon, we'll have a spoken word performance by uh, an artist. And then we have our uh, World Cafe table discussions. Um, I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you.